Good morning. This is already the Vintage Stitcher, and I am so happy that you are here with me today. It's Monday. <laughs> Monday, like June, let me look at the calendar, 6th. The month is flying by. <laughs> We're already six days into June. Um, I haven't met any of my goals yet. So let's kind of talk about that. <laughs> I haven't even started my June calendar on my book of days. I haven't even put like the day for the June. I haven't really made, usually at this point of the month, I have my, my list of goals, my list of what I'm going to stitch, the list of what I'm going to get done this month. My appointments are all written in, that sort of thing. And we are six days in to June. And I'm not there. So um, I know we've talked about this before, but giving ourselves some grace on how much we really take on all the time as, as women, as uh, whatever, um, and how productive should we be or how much should we take on or how much should we get done or how many, you know. So um, this weekend was kind of a stressful weekend for me because I started my weekend with all these plans in my head of what I was going to get done and what I was going to do and how I was going to accomplish all of it. And, you know, I had my mental list. I had my paper lists, you know, cause I, I live off a of pen and paper. I'll show you. <clears throat> I have a tablet like this and um, my whole world is lists. Um, it always has been. So I had my to-do list. Everything was there. This is what I was going to do. This, I was going to plant. I was going to quilt. I was going to do this. I was going to get this done. I was going to wash my windows. I had all sorts of plans for the weekend and absolutely none of them happened. Um, so what do you, I guess my big question is, what do you do when things like that happen to you? How do you handle that? Um, I had planned on recording all sorts of <clears throat> like tutorials for the week. None of that happened. I planned on working on my long arm because that arrived last week. Very little of that happened. I planned on planting my flowers because I'm a couple weeks behind the, the normal in this area. That didn't happen. <laughs> How do you handle that? Um, me, I usually just cry and have a meltdown and everybody around me runs away, you know, and gets, gets away from me as fast as they possibly can because I'm just freaking out because my OCD is just like kicking into high gear. Um, but that's not a proper way of handling it. <laughs> that's really not. And I try to remind myself that it's okay not to get everything done. It's okay that, you know, your weekend didn't turn out the way you planned or that you didn't get the sewing done or you didn't get this done. It's just like, is the world really going to come to an end if those things don't get done? But what my head and my heart tell me are two completely different things. So today's video, um, I'm going to show you what I did get done. I'm going to show you some, um, happy meal that I got in the mail which really truly brightened my day um it really really brightened my day because I was really like <sighs> about a lot of the interruptions that I was having and a lot of things I had to stop to do and you know go handle other things and not getting to do the things that I wanted to do and then just because <laughs> it's pin cushion month and I want to carry out the theme I have some giveaways for today's video and I will draw for them on next Monday. Um, I do want to get back into the habit of doing some giveaways. I'm not sure if I'm going to do them on Mondays or Fridays, so you kind of have to stay tuned. Um, and it would be great if you could subscribe and not hit that notification bell. Then you'll know when I do my giveaways and when I do all that fun stuff. So coffee up. let's get started all right so um like i said a lot of what i have going is like in the middle of things so i'm hoping to do some additional videos this week um showing you some more finished items but what i did do when i was relaxing um i did get some stitching done okay uh, not a ton but i did get some stitching done and 
the stitching I did do was very, very relaxing and I felt it was very, very productive and it was good for my soul. So um, sometimes that's all that counts. So I have been working on Bluebird Garden and um, this is kind of a difficult pattern. I, it looks easy. It really does look easy. Um, if anybody is doing this, I do recommend making a photocopy of it not for copyright purposes, for highlighting purposes, okay? The symbols on the chart are all um, very similar. So when you look at, especially for the chart for the bird's body and all these, you know, straight lines and stuff like that, it's very hard to read the symbols, okay? Um, the orange part wasn't too bad because the symbols for the lines were like a black dot and then... The symbols for the fill-in are were a lighter symbol but for this blue part they're all lighter symbols you know like one's an a, one's a plus and one's a star or something similar to that and it's very very hard to read so if anybody is attempting this one um i do recommend that you um make a photocopy or a working copy and use a highlighter it might just be easier for you um i know it's going to be easier for me i have the orange part almost complete and then I will be working on the blue part. And then basically it's done. Um, I miscalculated my fabric, so I am not going to put the border on it. I'm just gonna let it float. And, but I actually just, I really love this pattern. And I forget how much I really like uh, Artful Offerings patterns. They're kind of primitive and simple, but they're stunning. When they're done, they are absolutely beautiful. Um, the colors are gorgeous. Everything just pops. Um, the pictures on the patterns never do them justice. Never. So um, if this is a company that you have not um, kind of dove into yet, check them out. They're just, they have beautiful, beautiful patterns. And I know some of them have gone viral and stuff like that. But they have some beautiful like patterns that haven't gone viral that are just gorgeous. Um, and I have quite a few of them. I went on a spending spree one time and I think I bought like all of them that were available to me at the time. Um, so I have quite a few. But this, this one is so pretty. And quite honestly, let me know if you're the same way. When I am stressed, doing fill-in stitching is very soothing for me because I can get into a rhythm. And I really love to do a fill-in, a, a fill-in. I don't like to have to count too much or I don't like to have to concentrate too much. I like to just kind of do that repetitive fill-in. So I think this was Friday night. I was just kind of like, <gasps> I'd been away from the house all day. Um, I just didn't feel like I was getting anything done, which I did. I spent a lot of time with my mom. I spent time with my mother-in-law. It was productive time. It was quality time, but I didn't, I felt I was away from home. And when I'm away from home for too long, I get stressed. So this was, we just sat and watched TV in the evening, my mother-in-law and I, um, and it just did fill in and it, it calmed me right down. So anybody else like that, fill in. I, sometimes I really like fill in work. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm kind of rambling this. <laughs> I'm kind of just like, so um, yeah, it's gonna be different. I am doing this on a 25 count Lugana. I'm not sure what color it was. This was in my stash. It was gifted to me. Um, so many of you viewers send me such beautiful fabric and such beautiful gifts. And um, I love being able to pull it out and work on it and remember that it was gifted to me and that all of you think of me all of the time, or at least when you're watching my videos. And I'm doing this with the Cult for DMC colors. And they're just beautiful. Um, I don't know that... Okay, they, they do, they have the DMC colors, but they use um, gentle art threads. Those are the threads that are kind of called for the specialty threads if you wanted to use that, but I'm a DMC lover. So this is where I'm at on it. I absolutely love it, love it, love it. Okay, the other thing I worked on was my bloom where you're planted. 
And this is such a fun chart. The colors just make me happy. Just make me happy. So I want to do the whole thing. So I have to force myself. You know how I am. I, which means I have to do the border. I have to get the border done. Otherwise, I will stop somewhere along the line and I won't finish it. So what I have done is I was working on the border. I had finished the B a while ago. This is hard to see. That yellow is very, very hard to see because the it's light colors. So over here on this corner, when I did the worked on the border, let me fold that. I kind of did an intentional whoop, which means I have to fill in this border over here because this is going to look off. And then over here, I was getting frustrated because my I had to I had to wiggle it a little. I had to make some adjustments. My bottom border wasn't coming out just right. So I made sure that I continued on over to here so that I would um so that I would continue on with the project because I have this tendency of going oh yeah I like that let's stop and let's finish it and let's move on and let's get to the next pattern and stuff and I really love I really love the boot in the watering can I am just so I want to finish the whole project um so I, I was working on the border last night which again it was very rhythmic and very relaxing it's very repetitious you just do the same stitches and the same count all the way along um but of course i managed to mess it up and had to make an adjustment so i am doing this on a 16 count white ada bright white ada i'm using the dmc colors the dmc floss and i'm only doing one strand one strand over one i want it to be very lacy feeling very light very airy very summery um so I'm only doing the one strand over the one and I, this one just yeah the colors just make me happy yellow is yellow is like my favorite color this year anybody else yellow is like really in um and I'm seeing it everywhere and I, I'm wanting to use it more yellows and blues my color palette is in is changing um so I'm, I'm i'm enjoying using some different colors all right everything else i've worked on this weekend is kind of halfway in halfway done i can't really show you what i'm it where it's at because it's just really not all that exciting <laughs> So I will show you later this week, but I have done some quilting. I have done some sewing and I have done some crocheting of granny squares. I'm working on all of those too. So I am going to show you more of those in a couple of days when I get something done. All right. I did get some happy mail. This is from Alyssa. Look at that coffee. My favorite coffee, coffee, coffee. Who switched from hot coffee to iced coffee? I'm hot coffee in the morning because it's still a little chilly, but by afternoon I'm I'm doing iced coffee. Yeah. So she sent, and these are gonna go in the giveaway pile, Alyssa, because for what uh, they're beautiful. They're beautiful, they're beautiful. Um, but I know I'm never gonna stitch them. And if somebody out there is going to want to stitch these. Um they are so pretty, so super pretty. The, these are Rosewood Manor patterns. She sent two Rosewood Manor patterns. One is the Anchors of the Kingdom. Look at how cool that is. That is really, really cool. And then the other one is a Sailing Ships Sampler. And um, look at how neat that is. Oh, sailing Ships Sampler. So these are gonna come up as future giveaways because they are beautiful patterns and I would not ever want to see them languish in my stash and never get stitched um, as much as I enjoy looking at them. So Alyssa, thank you so, so much for some giveaway patterns. She also sent the Christmas Cross Stitch Giveaway or Christmas Just Cross Stitch Magazine, 
which I've had and I've given away. So this one will also be up for a giveaway, probably for uh, Christmas and in July. Um, and I know a lot of people don't get magazines or can't get magazines in their part of the country. So magazines are always welcome for giveaways because I can mail them out relatively cheaply um, internationally. So um, magazines are always fun. And I know like a lot of you international viewers love the American magazines. So this is probably going to be in the Christmas in July. And then she sent a pile of stickers look at all these stickers they are so cute so so cute um and i know i'm gonna have to hide them from my granddaughter today because if she sees them i will lose them she um i've been trying not to give her as many stickers i think her parents are starting to get irritated with me but look at how cute those are cute little stickers and I love them. Look at how sweet they are. So I'm really excited to look at the little mason jar. I'm going to bring some of them to work with me because it just spruces things up. And then some of them, look at how cute these are. Those will be so cute at work. Just kind of class things up a little bit over there. <laughs> you know. Um, and then lots of them are going to be really sweet in my um, book of days. So Alyssa, thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I, I, stickers are it for me. That's that's the way to my heart. I love them. So um, I'm trying to find some other cute ones. Look at how cute they are. She said she used to be a total sticker girl, and uh, um, a total planner girl. Look at how sweet is that. So anyway, I could sit and look at stickers all day. All right. That is about all I did this weekend. So I thought, let's do some giveaways. <laughs> let's make the video a little bit longer and let's do some giveaways, right? <clears throat> all you have to do is be a subscriber, hit that notification bell, um, comment on the video, um, answer any one of the questions that I've asked you in the last 15 minutes, and just let's have some conversation going, okay? And then your name will be um, in for these drawings. All right. It is pincushion month. I still have not had a chance to work on my pincushions. And it's day six of June. Um, I really want to get going on my pincushions. But since the theme of June is pincushion, I thought, let's do some pincushion giveaways. Number one, I'm going to give away one of my Biscorn U's. I have two, I made one as a practice and one as a sample for my tutorial. So I have two of these and I'm gonna give one away. One's in my tear tray and one is I'm going to give it to you. So number one is the Patriotic Biscornu. If you would love to have that, make sure you use number one, okay? It's so cute, I love them. I love them, I love them, I love them. So, and, if I did make do tutorial, I work, I'm really working hard at getting these on a playlist. I am just not very computer savvy. So if you look back, I do have all my videos labeled to, you know, like floss tube tutorials, and then it tells you what, what we're making. So I did do a tutorial on the, um, Biscorn U. So if you want to learn how to make those, go ahead and watch that tutorial. All right. Number two is the moon needle roll and i am going to do a tutorial this month on how to make a needle roll they're so super simple you're gonna you're gonna go really i could have done that they're not hard at all um but in the in the meantime somebody could be stitching one so i'm gonna give away the moon needle roll that's number two all right number three is the sun needle roll how cute are these and M Designs, if you go on like 123 Stitch or anywhere and look up M Designs, they have a ton, a ton of needle rolls. I had, I had tons and tons of patterns in the past. I've purged them and gotten rid of them over the years, but they are, they have a huge selection of needle rolls. So if you're looking for cute needle roll patterns, check out M Designs. Um, but number three, number three 
is Sun Needle Roll. Okay, number four is this super cute snowflake biscornu pattern. Snowflake biscornu pattern. And it does give some directions on the back on how to do it, but not nearly as easy as watching somebody do it on a video, trust me. So the Snowflake Biscornu, that is number four, okay? And number five is the Just Cross Stitch Magazine from June 2022. So this is fairly new, this is on the new stands now, but this has some cute patterns in there that could easily easily be made into pin cushions so um annie's quilt club or annie's craft clubs um is so kind they send me a subscription to this to either use or use as giveaways so when i am done browsing through it i usually pass it on um so this is number five the june 2022 just cross stitch magazine all right Leave comment for all of those. I will draw for these next Monday. Next Monday. And then we will be halfway through the month. And hopefully I will be, I'll have it pulled together. But that's my video for today. I really hope all of you have a productive week. I'm going to really work hard at pulling it together. I'm also going to work really hard at giving myself some grace. If I don't get it all done, I don't get it all done, right? Um, we do what we have to and then do what we want to when we can fit it in there or vice versa, however you, <laughs> whatever your view on life is. But when you're out and about this week, please be kind, spread love and find peace.